Welcome back to another video and this week we're going to be having a look at the broadside lights from Brightside. So many of you will know Brightside from the lights I used to ride on my Rorox. So I have my big black Rorox with the two um, light attachments here. Uh, these were Brightside lights and the guy there has been interested in Eastgate for a little while and has developed these broadside lights with Eastgate and PEV in mind. So full disclosure, he sent me this little selection of stuff. This isn't a paid advert, paid review or anything like that. It's just a chance for me to let you know that there's something new available. So being a bike company, like I say, he's been moving into PV and making lights for uh, scooters, skateboards, um, even rowing boats actually, which is pretty cool. So these are designed to be able to swap between your rides, something like if you look at the shred light setup where they've got the SL200, you can unclip your light and then switch it between your helmet, skateboard, your bike, whatever. A similar kind of setup in mind where you can take your light off your bike, chuck it on your board, go for a ride, take it off, stick it on your scooter, something like that, but with a different setup of light. So let's open the boxes up and have a look at what you actually get inside. There it is. So the light, let's get these clips off. Fail, 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 fail. Oh, I should have been a bit more prepared for that. There we go. So these are the new broadside lights. Um, not bad. These are actually competing with my studio light on 100% at the moment. Uh, various different modes. For a second um, so yeah let's have a look at the mounts and everything you get inside here we've got the various attachments that you might be used to seeing for the bright side lights um, the usual little washers rubber bung collection USB USB mini recharger. Surprised they haven't gone USB-C, but hey-ho. Um, also, uh, yeah, we'll come to those in a minute. So there is a red version and a white version. So obviously one for the front and one for the rear of your board. Let's quickly pop the red one out as well. I like the way these are packaged with a little, oh, you can see in there, just a little tab just to easily pull it out. I like a little thoughtful stuff like that. That's pretty cool. And uh, that's the one for the rear. Oh, tell me it does like a Knight Rider. Cool, okay, lots of different patterns. Right, let's turn that one off. So, there is a selection of mounts that comes with these for the uh, skate in mind. There's actually these plates here that you would kind of see on the top of a board. One for each side. And then we've got a selection of different kinds of mounts. So these are like the, the standard bright side mounts. But they're actually mounted like on a GoPro kind of system here. So you can just squeeze them slide them out so you've got your standard GoPro mount there and your bright side mount and they just slide right in. So if you were mounting these on a board you would take one of your plates here like this and this would easily attach on the top of your board. Then you would take a couple of the GoPro mounts Put your 3M tape, just peel the sticker off, put it on the bottom there. And then mount these on the plate, depending on if you want to use the bar mount here, or, let's open this one up, the more standard bright side style light. That's the red one there. 
Um, so I'll show you the two different options that the guys come up with. If you mount your bar mount, I have to get this the right around now. So this is mounted on your board and you put your bar mount uh, that way and you put the other one out that way. So they will just stick on 3M tape and that'll be mounted on the front of your board like that. I'll cut some graphics in so you can see a little better. Then all you would do is take your bright side bar mount and clip it straight into the, uh, I don't want to trap my thumb under there. <laughs> clip it straight in like that. And you would have a bar mounted. So it'd be like a ball bar on the front of your board with light built in which is pretty cool actually. Another system for doing this would be to take your, another way, take your GoPro style mounts, and this time you would mount them this way, facing, can you see that like that? Facing forwards. Then you would take two reds or two whites and then clip them in like this. So then you would have two bright side lights, at the front or two at the back with the various patterns that they flash. So it's pretty cool. Um, hopefully as I'm going along, I'll cut in some, some images um, on the top there. Uh, just grab a board so you can see it a little better. So I've got this little X-way here, and where your bolts go in for the truck there, your plate will just match up on the top. Okay, here with the bolts. So then you would put your mounts on the front, like this, and then just mount your lights straight in, like that. Oh, once clipped in, they're not going anywhere. There we go, mount like that. Or, you would get your other, other mounts going sideways, clip them in, and mount the, bar, the bull bar style light on the front there. Now I realized that this plate right now isn't ideal and won't match every single board. Um, this is going to need to be tweaked a little bit, but it is Mark 1. This is really kind of like a prototype setup for, for Eastgate. Um, but a pretty cool setup. So you can literally just pull your, um, your light out and then it could be attached directly onto the handlebar of your bicycle. Or if you're riding a scooter, then this way up, it could just be clipped straight onto the stem of your scooter. Um, and then something like these star lights. So the more standard bright side style light. Wow, they are bright. Um, like these could be clipped onto the side of a one wheel rail or straight on top of an EUC. So there's a pretty good versatile little setup of lights here. Um, I think it's quite nice. I think the, the setup is pretty cool. Obviously I have mine on my, my Rural Rock, so I could just unkit them from the Rural Rock, stick them straight onto my skateboard. Um, and with a few spare mounts, obviously you could just pull them off and switch them between helmet, EUC, board, whatever you wanna ride bike, scooter, um, pretty good setup. So the specs for these, um, these lights will last for up to 33 hours, obviously dependent on one, if you have them flashing, obviously they'll last longer, and if you have them on solid, they won't last as long, but up to 33 hours, so these are gonna do your night rides easily. The construction, you can hear that, that's a solid piece of kit, really solid piece of kit. Um, really impressed by the build quality of this. They're actually um, IP65 rated, so IP6, that's 
um, totally dust resistant, so anything being kicked up, dust, dirt, debris, anything like that is not gonna get in here. Um, 65, so water resistant. Um, any splashes, jets of water, so wheels kicking up water, the person in front of you kicking up some water, rain, stuff like that. This, this light's not gonna be bothered by that at all. Just looking at the charge port here, actually, it's got a nice little rubber bung on it. USB mini though, USB-C please. Um, 240 lumens, so they sit in between the uh, SL200 and the SL300. And having three lights on the front should be adequate. Um, I'll give them a test later on. These are actually uh, Cree LEDs they're using these. Um, if you don't know Cree LEDs, look them up. They're renowned for their reliability and performance. They're really good quality. Um, and yeah, like I mentioned before, USB recharge, so you can just come home, pull the lights off, plug them into your whatever, PC, laptop, um, old phone charger, and then charge them up for the next ride. I'll, um, I've got this to site up. I'm gonna drop a link in the description to like all the lights, the whole selection here. So I'm just having a look now. They have got these at the time of recording on offer for 35 pounds, which is not bad. That is the price of a single shred light for this. And they have, each section here has six LEDs in. So that is, that's an 18 LED set up, set up there. Um, Gonna have to try this in the dark, but um, I'll take this out on a night ride. So, 35 pounds for the bars, which is pretty good. Um, so, if you want the red and the white, that's a price of a couple of shred lights. Um, and then the slightly more standard red and white bright side star lights. Um, looking at 17 pound 50 each that is not bad that is not bad at all um so i think i have red one's 17 white one's 20 and then you've got some extra accessories mounts and stuff like that from four pounds which is um that's a pretty good price it's a pretty good price uh, i'll see if i can stock these if not like i say link in the description directly to the products you can buy them it is a UK based company, it's a garden shed business. So really cool to be able to support someone who's looking at the Eastgate scene from the UK. Um, pretty rare as about 95% of the stuff I sell in the shop is actually imported. So it's nice to be able to give a shout out to another UK company. Um, any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm gonna attach the bar mount to one of my boards. I'm gonna go out for a night ride. I've actually had this kit for a few months, really sorry on the delay of getting this unboxing and review sorted. I had in the summer, there was really no point going out for a, a night ride on, uh, on light nights. So it's uh, middle of November now. I'll probably get out the start of December, freezing cold and really dark. I'm gonna attach these to my board and hit a dark park, go for a good ride and see how they perform. I'll take my 360 with me, um, bring you the footage as soon as I can. Um, and these bright sides, I mean, they don't need any review. You know how bright these are, these are really good. Um, yeah, like I said, any questions about this kit, drop me a question in the comment section below and I'll answer them when I do the night ride. Um, Take a look at all the gear. They've got loads of stuff. So they've got stuff now for bikes, scooters, skateboards, mounts that go on your helmet. So we've got the GoPro sticky mounts that will mount anywhere. Currently this is the flat mount. I'd like to see them do like a curved mount like Shred Lights do. And then you can easily just attach these to absolutely anything. Um, these flat ones will mount the side rails of a one wheel as well, which is pretty damn cool. So there we go, broadside lights, bright side lights, and an entire mounting selection. Let me know what you think, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's not bad at all, is it? Not bad, 
kind of <laughs> kind of blinding. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe I could set up do my filming on a couple of these. There we go. What do you reckon? There's two lights. 